Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today, I started with a family and ended with chaos. Um, I wanted to see how long a family could live on The Sims without a human to control them. So um, I thought I'd see how long they could last, like if it was a year. Um, so I did some maths. That maths was very poor. I timed how long it took for a day to run in fast mode and um, got like just over five minutes. So I was like, oh, how many days in a year in the season's pack? For some reason, I thought it was t it was 22. I think it's actually like 24 or something. <laughs> Either way, I got about two hours. It took me um, about three and a half hours for this whole family to die, um, <laughs> which uh, was not not a year, maybe half a year. But here is the lovely sped up video of that long painful actually fairly boring i thought i was gonna have a full family left at the end of this but it all just um it fell apart at the end um so we have a toddler two children a teenager and two adults plus one dog and one cat so a full eight person ish i mean two animals household um covering a lot of different ages i didn't put an old person in there because i thought that potentially they'd die of old age um as you can see about well maybe about two days in the dog got taken the the dog was taken by animal protective services and for some reason the cat was not like clearly uh the sims care about dogs a lot more than they care about cats no tea here but Clearly dogs were the favourite animal because um, my sims did not put food down for those animals once. I honestly have no idea how long, like how the cat lasted as long as it did because um, there were times literally where the cat was just <laughs> crying at, like, at people and everyone ignored it, no one put any food down. It was just, oh my god, it was carnage. And I felt like, I was sitting there and I tried not to, like, even watch it really. But because it was recording, I had to have my laptop, like, um, to the side and make sure it, like, make sure the screen didn't turn off or anything. Or just make sure it didn't crash, basically. <laughs> um, but I should have turned the sound off on it because all you could hear was just this crying cat. And all I wanted to do was just tell someone to feed the cat bowl. <laughs> But um, I started, it was, I think, the last day of autumn when this started. Um, and, um, yeah, we made it to the first day of summer. So, technically about half a year. Um, I had a feeling that my Sims may all die in the winter. Because I found, like, when it's cold... Um, sims are too stupid to put their winter clothes on and just freeze to death but amazingly all my sims survived the winter they spent a lot of time outside crying about how cold it was and then going back outside and playing again and making snowmen all the time <laughs> but no snow deaths and um, the main fatal flaw of my sims lives uh, was not paying their bills um I didn't have a fire like I sat there I went through the notification wall at the end just to make sure um but yeah no fires which I find shocking um they're like I don't even know like there was no electrocution like for a good I mean three quarters of this whole um recording the fridge is sparking it's broken no one even attempts to fix it which I mean that didn't surprise me I didn't I, I thought that they'd just ignore it and just carry on but I did think someone might get electrocuted or it might catch fire or something like I don't know I, I've never I've never had a fridge catch fire but I've like heard other people talking about it so like someone let me know if that's actually a thing 
Um, but yeah, literally, did, they didn't pay their bills, so the power kept getting turned off, the water kept being turned off, um, the repo man came, which is funny because it's the first time I've had the repo man actually come to one of my houses in The Sims 4. Um, something I saw frequently in Sims 1, 2 and 3, but not in The Sims 4. So um, I was kind of like excited to see what actually happened like when the lights went off and everything. Um, really annoyed that when the water went off, those fountains at the front of the house did not stop. But they, uh, so they, they could have, I don't know, washed in that. But basically, these Sims just had a terrible time. Absolutely terrible time. Um, I kind of don't feel bad for them. I'm a bit sad because obviously, I like I used my Sim version of myself, <laughs> which may be stupid. <laughs> but um, I was like, no, I'll make I'll make a family for me. So I'll search for a nice little hunk for myself in the Sims gallery and um, make a little family based off that. I used my Sims version of my cat as well and then downloaded some other random dog to add into the house. No shade, I do like dogs, but <laughs> I just don't have one. So I obviously don't have as much affection for the Sims dogs as I do for the Sims version of my own cat that I spent ages like delicately painting the fur of to get it to the exact pattern of my cat. Um, I, I've completely lost track of what I was even talking about. I've just sort of gone on a bit of a tangent then. Oh yeah, no, don't feel sorry for them. Like, it's obviously sad to watch yourself suffer. But there were so many times where they could have just made this better. Oh, there goes the oven. <laughs> but um, they didn't do it. I don't know why. Like, why did they not pay the bills? I left them with money. Like, surely they have free will. Surely they should have free will to pay their bills. I think their bills were like three hundred pounds or something as well. But I um I started with t uh, twenty thousand. Um, like I got rid of any extra money from like just moving them into the house, and thought I'll leave them with twenty thousand. They don't have any jobs. Obviously, the kids go to school. Somehow came out the end of it with more money than they started with. Um, apparently, my sim version of myself had done some. Uh, um, done some investing at some point. They don't have a computer, so she must, I don't know, she must have done it on her, on her mobile or something. But yeah, I think they made like £2,000 by the end of it, but not spent anything other than like obviously the food out of the fridge. But yeah, but still didn't pay their bills, which ultimately killed them. But it's just a long time of watching them suffer. I I did sort of sit there and I was like, I kind of hoped that, I don't know, the amount of piss on the floor. <laughs> I thought one of them might die of embarrassment. But no, they all died of starvation once the repo man finally came back and took the fridge. Um, they had no food source, so they just sat in that house pissing themselves and falling asleep in it even though there's enough beds for everyone and um, eventually starved until all that was left was the child which technically I think was the toddler because the toddler aged up to a child um, at some point during this and um, she got taken in by social services because she couldn't look after herself Clearly, I think she probably could have looked after herself. Of all of the, the older Sims died of starvation. I think she was the only one who had a fighting chance, to be quite honest with you. Um, but quite like quite a few of them obviously aged up through it. So I had to click on it to keep it going. So I, I saw like little bits as it was coming through. But I tried not to like like closed my eyes and sort of like spanned the mouse around and clicked on something random so I just tried to avoid making choices in their life basically <laughs> but it's just yeah I mean you can see it's starting to get worse and worse there's just 
there's food everywhere. Everything's broken. The toilet's broken. The sink's broken. They may not even have any water at this point. I'm not sure. The only times that the toilet and sink are not spurting water out of them is when their water bill, uh, like the water bill, isn't paid, so they get their water cut off. Uh, but they go from like mopping the floor to just falling asleep. It's like go use the beds. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if they could get to two of those beds. It's a very small bedroom at the back, but I'm sure it's fine. They had what? A double bed, a single bed, and a sofa. That's plenty of space for them. I, I think I gave the, the animals more to keep them comfortable than I did the humans, but um, don't we all? I think most of us do that. Oh, but I, yeah, I was fairly impressed that they made it to spring. I thought they would have died before that. But yeah, once once spring started, things started going very downhill. Like, was that very downhill? I don't think that's the right phrase. <laughs> this, everything started going downhill very quickly, which is what I meant to say. You see, it just gets worse and worse. So, I mean, this is a lesson to us all. Don't leave your sims running on fast mode with, like, if you're not going to pay attention to it. Because they can't look after themselves. <laughs> oh, dear. They didn't try very hard, either. It's one of those things, though, isn't it, where it's like, just want to step in like I've never just sort of left it before even like I'll I'll walk to the kitchen to go get a glass of water and I'm like I've got to pause it I've got to pause it because I can't miss anything <laughs> so it's quite difficult for me to actually let it I don't know let it just run but it was interesting I feel like it would have been way more chaotic if it was any of the other Sims games. Like, clearly, The Sims 4 is created to make them, I don't know, not look after themselves. It's just harder for them to die. Like, if it was The Sims 1, to be honest, if it was Sims 1, 2, or 3, uh, there would have been a fire very early on, and unless they had a fire detector, they probably all would have been in the fire. Maybe I'll try it again, put them in like a posher house. Give them a pool. See what happens if they've got a swimming pool as well. Because it's not like you can trap them in a swimming pool without the ladder, like in the first Sims, so. We'll see. I think they just do things to like exhaust themselves. Like I found it was quite rare for them to actually go to sleep. Like I'm quite surprised at this exact point I'm talking about this. The people who are in the beds are actually under the covers and asleep. But like my own sim spent like every time she was exhausted instead of just going to bed. Like oh like it is now. They go they are napping on top of the bed for what 20 minutes? And then they get out of bed because that it's only a quick nap. And then they go, oh, I'm still so tired, and pass out. Why not just carry on? Like, go have a proper sleep. Like, oh my god, this is when the cat gets taken. This was heartbreaking. <laughs> like, this is how long it took for them to take the cat. Like, I think this is maybe halfway through spring or something. So we went through all of winter... And most of spring before pet services even got involved with the cat. But the dog, straight away, it was like one day without feeding the dog. And they were like, no. No, you can't like can't treat a dog like that. Cat, be fine. I'm really upset about that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm upset about it, because I'm kind of glad the cat was there to keep him company. Like, I'd be devastated if my cat was the same way, but I wouldn't leave it to starve like these sims did. But... Oh, the house is just looking disgusting now. 
just gets worse and worse because obviously there's no sinks either so they can't wash any of the dishes they just keep picking them up and putting them back down again and they repeat over and over and over again I'm not sure if any of the children ever did any homework I hoped they would but I don't think any of them did any homework um, part of me cut like I don't know I did wonder if maybe I should have given them job like the adults jobs but I don't know like they suffered enough I think if they had work they'd have just not gone to work or had like been fired which maybe that would have been interesting okay if I ever do this again I'll go instead of such a tiny house I went for a small house so you could see everything because what I didn't want was obviously like things to happen on other floors because obviously I'm recording the screen so I can't like I can't watch it back over, like and look at the different floors and what happens on different floors if it's like unless it's something massive like someone dying and um, it'll move the camera so maybe I'll do a big bungalow with a pool maybe put like try and just put things down that might kill them and see like which way they're more inclined to die basically <laughs> I don't know but they just yeah they just did nothing like it was kind of a perk when the water went off they could use the toilet Wait, like, I don't know if that's a, a glitch or something but because that the toilet wasn't spurting water out they were able to use it but there was no water in the toilet so as soon as they use it, it became dirty immediately but also I don't know why but my sim husband um, he tried learning a skill at some point I don't know what that skill was but he tried to learn it and um, the little skill bar thing was just on his head for months All right oh this is this is the moment this is when everything went wrong this was basically the moment they all died <laughs> the repo man has taken the fridge and they had like the oven was taken last time so um they have no TV, they have to talk to each other now. Um, amazingly, they still get super lonely. <laughs> it's a house with now, at the moment, six people in it. And they've got loneliness moodlets on them because they're not talking to each other. Um, there's no TV to keep them occupied. And they still don't want to talk to each other. They'll just stand playing games on their phones. It's very... Uh, like, it's like a parallel of uh, the current times, isn't it? <laughs> like, can't go near anyone, can't talk to them, just in case uh, they sneeze in your face and you get sick, so you avoid them and just play games on your phone. Um, but they just, yeah, they killed themselves. And this is just proof you should always pay your bills. Don't not pay the bills that come in, otherwise the repo man will take your fridge and God knows how you get food then. But you can't leave the house. I, I think the adults in this, I mean the children, because they went to school, the adults literally didn't leave the house. <laughs> oh dear. It's a sad life, isn't it? Uh, when you haven't got someone clicking clicking buttons telling you where to go or, like, the free will just resides within those walls <laughs> it's not very much free will clearly I think I'm feeling people are going to start dying now it's, oh. Oh, I don't know I'm waiting for those moodlets to start flickering like but you can see it, like, I mean, they all, obviously it's only been, like, on one sim, so I couldn't see what the others were like, but I imagine all of them were just, but well, they were all orange for the whole thing. They were all just uncomfortable. <laughs> just their only emotion was uncomfortable or sad. 
I shouldn't laugh. I really shouldn't laugh, but they've just been sad, uncomfortable people for the last uh, couple of, well, a couple of hours. A couple of months for them. I think it's literally, yeah, now she's awake. I think it's, um, everything starts going a little bit tits up. Just a little bit. I feel like, I don't know, maybe in in like The Sims 2 or The Sims 3, would they not have ordered like a pizza or something? Oh, there we go. The first death. And it had to be me as well. My sim self has just died. I kind of wish it was one of the others first, but... Some of us have just got to lead the way in life. The born leader, clearly. But... Yeah, I don't know, like... But part of me... In my head, I'm feeling like in other Sims games, maybe they wouldn't have, I don't know, but they have ordered a pizza. Can you order a pizza in The Sims 4? Never tried to order a pizza in The Sims 4. Sorry, I've only been playing this since um, quarantine started because they, um, they didn't make it for like Apple computers when it first came out, so I couldn't get one. And um, I... I don't know, I just never bothered buying it when it finally came out for um, for iOS and until that fateful day. And I was like, you know what? Quarantine calls for just playing The Sims non-stop. And um, it's, it's very different, isn't it? I shouldn't be wishing it, but I kind of wish the whole house burnt down. Just would have added some drama instead of me just talking over a video where all they do is mess up the house and then eventually starve to death because that they couldn't pay their bills. <laughs> but at least we know Sims need humans. <laughs> is this it? Is this the last one? There we go. She falls to the floor. My game over. Hope you enjoyed this weird one today. I have just thought I'd add some pictures of the carnage they left behind at the end. Also enjoy the pee puddle at the very end of the garden where someone walked to the perimeter to take a piss instead of pissing on the floor in the house like everyone else did. Um, please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one and uh, have a lovely evening. Thanks. Bye.